Arizona State has beaten its rival Arizona four straight times and a fifth consecutive one just may knock the Wildcats out of the NCAA tournament. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Norwood, CBS College Sports to Steve Lapis. Glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com, breaking down the 4-5 matchup in the Pac-10 tournament, a game that you can see Thursday afternoon. And uh, Steve, when you talk about Arizona, first of all, it'd be great for Arizona State to, to end that long consecutive tournament streak for Arizona. But when you talk about the Wildcats and a team that's on the bubble, where do you see them? I think they're going to be in. I, I think if they win this game, there's no doubt they're in. But when you beat UCLA, you beat Kansas, you beat Washington, boy, that's pretty good on your resume. So I think Arizona is right there to be in, but if they want to sleep well on Saturday night before the selection show, they got to win this game. But you always look at how a team finished, and Arizona was 1-4 in, in its last five games. They lose this game. They're 1-5 in, in their last six. I don't think that plays as big a role with the committee as who you beat during the season. They try to look at it as a whole body of work. I think their body of work is pretty good. Again, if they want to go to sleep on Saturday night, they need to beat Arizona State. But I think they're going to sneak in whether they win or lose. All right, let's talk about the players in this game. And, you know, James Harden is the first guy that comes to mind because you're talking about potential lottery pick, maybe a top 10 pick. Uh, how does Arizona control him? Well, he's probably been maybe the second best player in the country this year uh, behind Blake Griffin. So James Harden has been an unbelievable player. Shoots the ball from three, does everything, assists, you name it, he does it for them. And he's a tough guy to contain because he's one of those guys, he can lull you to sleep and all of a sudden run off 10, 12 points in a row because of all the things that he can do. So Arizona's going to have their hands full with him. On the other hand, Arizona State's going to have their hands full with Jordan Hill. He's one of the best offensive centers, maybe the best offensive center in the country in terms of putting him on the low post. A true center at 6'11", very athletic, much improved over last year. So he is going to be a tough matchup. They have Jeff Pandergraf, Arizona State, but he's a little smaller than Jordan Hill. That's going to be a tough one. That's a good matchup to watch for and one that we'll certainly be paying attention to. The other part of this game for Arizona, we know Chase Budinger is a big part and a great player for the Wildcats. But when you talk about Arizona, Nick Wise has been a big part of why they've won. Nick Wise has also been a big part of why they lost. You know, Nick Wise is a very good player, but he's not really a true, true point guard. He is their point guard, and as you can see by the stats in wins and losses, way different. But I think what hurts him is he's not a, he's more of a scorer than he is a point guard. So that's something that has hurt him at times this year. He has to be in control. He has to deliver the ball, and he cannot turn the ball over. The one in there, the key to me in that one, turnovers. Two to one, essentially, in wins. 1.2 to 1 in losses. Steve, it's a huge game for Arizona. Uh, it's the Pac-10 tournament. Who you like? I think Arizona State's going to win. Arizona State is a great matchup zone team, and I think that's really going to make it very hard for Jordan Hill to have a big game. And if he doesn't have a big game, then they become very inconsistent from the perimeter where they're going to have to be. I think it'd be hard. I think Arizona State. All right, well, we know Arizona State's going to be in the NCAA tournament. We'll find out if Arizona's going to be in the NCAA tournament, but don't worry because you'll be able to see anybody who's in the tournament live online for free with NCAA March Madness On Demand. It is back every game from the opening tip to the championship game live online for free. Go to NCAA.com to find out more. For Steve Lapis, I'm Jason Horowitz. All these tournament games, enjoy them. Take care, folks.